An inter-secondary school fitness challenge competition was held at the Barbies High School last Saturday. Shanice Beckles reports. On Saturday, November 12th, the Burbies High School hosted the first inter-secondary school fitness challenge, Burbies Leg. The competition drew the participation of four secondary schools in the New Amsterdam and Currentin district. Among the schools that participated were the Burbies High School with a 35 student team, the Kanji Secondary School with 4 participants, the Skeldon Line Path Secondary School with 11 participants and the Manchester Secondary School with 7 participants. The Inter-Secondary School Fitness Challenge is an initiative by the Ministry of Public Adolescence Health Department. In collaboration with the Guyana Amateur Weightlifting Association, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Education and the National Sports Commission to reintroduce physical education into schools. Physical education teacher and fitness enthusiast Mr. Tyron English explained the objective of the challenge. Uh, the objective behind the school fitness challenge is for us to reintroduce physical education into schools and to schools where it doesn't have a PE um, program to introduce that to the schools. Um, in addition, we want to ensure that we establish a national standard where we can be able to manage or evaluate um, the athletes, their physical components, as well as their ability to um, deal with stress and corporate fatigue mentally. Mr. English elaborated further. Uh, we are hoping to have 11 schools, however, due to circumstances, we only have four of those schools. We have um, a total of 10 teams out of the four schools, and they're going to be competing in three different rounds. Each round um, carries six challenges in total, so it's a knockout tournament. So those persons who would have qualified from round one, we take the best four, they move on to round two, then we're going to take the best two, they move on to round three. At the end of the competition, we're going to be giving um, prizes for all participants. We're also going to give prizes for the fittest male and female, uh, the fittest school, the best coach or trainer, and we're going to give a four, second, and third um, space prize for artists as well. The fitness enthusiast said that he hopes the event will become an annual one. So generally it's, it's a fun activity. Um, it's one that we're hoping to come back into Barbies sometime in the new year to have at least another um, of its kind. Uh, from this we're going to take one to Linden, then we want to go to Bartica and Ezekiel as well. So it's a national event actually. This will be the second competition of its kind. Um, like I said, we did one in Georgetown. So we're touching Barbies now because we want to have um, each each um, district or we want to touch each county. Then we're going to hope Hopefully in the next year or two years, we're going to have a national competition. The competition consisted of three rounds, each round comprising of six activities. The students participated in activities such as the shuttle run, free squats, sandbar carry, jumping jacks, step-ups, push-ups, jump rope and battle rope, among others. The Burbies High School emerged victorious in the challenge and received the first place trophy, followed by Skeldon Line Path Secondary, while Burbies High School also copped the third place prize. The Burbies High School also received prizes for the fittest school, fittest male and female students, and the fittest physical education teacher. Shinis Beckles reporting for Channel 8 News.